So Rodos has added something called an acoustic simulation for audio, which is a feature that makes the audio interact with the environment. You can think of it as like the sound being muffled when it's behind a wall, because the objects in the way are absorbing the sound waves and basically reducing their amplitude. But yeah, I'm gonna be overviewing that in the video. So as usual, leave a like and subscribe to support the channel, and let's just get to it. Okay, and right off the bat I need to say that me and many other different people were actually waiting for a feature like this, because it's basically going to be a huge improvement for, well, many different games. But anyway, you can see that I have a little bit of stuff already prepared. Right now I need to actually show how to enable this feature, and it's as simple as just going to the file then beta features, and enabling the acoustic simulation right on top. Then this is going to prompt you to restart studio, so you just want to do that and you should have it enabled. But now there is few things that I need to cover within this update. One of them is the fact that the biggest adaptation for this feature is going to come from the audio API. And I don't actually know if you can use it with normal audio, so yeah. So I just have this simple setup with an audio player instance and an audio emitter instance that are both connected with, well, this wire right here. And this audio player has basically this sound asset and a script inside of it which is basically just playing the sound at runtime. So if I were to do a playtest and actually showcase this feature right off the bat, I'm going to have this sound playing from this part right here. And one of the biggest changes is the fact that if I for example go right here, the audio is going to be muffled. And for some reasons it's also not playing right here in this area, it's only if I step a little bit outwards. But this is because this feature is still in beta and there is some known issues already posted on the dev forum, but continuing. I can also step right into the box and you are going to be able to hear how this audio is basically going to be like simulated as if the sound waves were actually bouncing off of the walls. Like this. And also, if I were to move this part backwards to the end of the room, right now, if I just move my camera around the corner, it's going to sound like as if the audio is actually coming from right here where my cursor is, meaning from this entrance to the room. And if I move it a little bit more in, it's actually just going to be normal. And also I have these two rooms right here, one of them is completely empty and the other one has well few assets. Where if I were to actually showcase this effect again, you can hear that it's a little bit more noticeable in this area in front of this building. And again if I were to walk in, it's just going to sound more echoey. And then there is the second room with all of these assets, where this is basically to showcase how it's going to interact with the environment, where if I were to walk in it, and for example go into this corner right here, you can again hear that the audio is being muffled. Where this is again going to be because of all of these objects, again reducing the amplitude of the sound waves, where even if I were to hide behind something, you can again hear the audio being muffled. So yeah, this is for the basic showcase of the feature, but there is a bit more stuff to it. Where now you have a new simulation tab for the audio emitter and audio listener too, which also has the simulation field at And now it's automatic or non, where you can actually toggle this one on and off. And under the parts, you are also going to have a new property for the acoustic simulation, which is going to be under the collision and called audio can collide. Where if I were to actually disable this one and do another playtest, I'm going to be able to hear the audio normally. So this property is there if you for example had a part which you didn't want to like obfuscate the sound, like for example the player's character, which have this property of by default. And these base parts are also going to have yet another property, which is going to be under the custom physics properties, and is this one right here called the acoustic absorption. And the higher this volume is, the less the sound is going to be reflecting off of these parts, meaning that it's going to give less echo. Where if I were to actually change this one to, well, zero, move this part back again, and do another playtest, you can hear that the audio right here is going to be even more echoey. Now another thing is that there is also a new property under the sound service 
An easy character sound use new API, where if you were to enable this one, instead of your normal walking, jumping, falling sounds, you are going to have this new audio emitter. And it's going to be kind of hard to present, but basically all of the climbing, died, free falling, getting up, jumping and whatever, all of these are connected to the audio emitter, which is going to emit all of the previously mentioned sounds with the new audio API, instead of normal sound instances, like it was previously. And there was another thing on the bass parts that I kind of forgot about, so it, yeah. Anyway, I forgot to tell you that the density of the bass part, meaning that if it's going to be bigger, it's going to have more density, it's also going to affect how much the sound is going to get occluded. Where if I were to scale this one down, you can hear everything change. That's about it if it comes to like showcasing the feature. So now I'm going to give you more information and also present you known issues by overviewing the dev forum post. So yeah. And here is the dev forum post about the beta acoustic simulation. The dev forum will be down for maintenance at 11 pm EST, okay, whatever. Where Dr. Sonar, a Roblox staff, is saying that they are yet again excited to announce the acoustic simulation as a new studio beta feature. And with this feature enabled, the audio playback will automatically adapt to its environment, specifically any 3D audio emitted using the new audio writing API will now behave similarly to the real world. You will hear those sounds being muffled by structures as well as bending around and reflecting off of parts and terrain. And it includes stuff like the audio assets, voice chat and or character sounds, meaning if someone speaks through voice chat and they are going to be behind a wall, their audio is basically going to be muffled. And the best part about it is the fact that it's all automatic. There is no scripting required. You can basically just make this scene like a large stone cave and the audio is going to echo through it. You can also create a room that is going to block a noise when you close the door. And even make a windy hallway where users can hear falls from around the corner. And here is a little preview given to us by Roblox. So yeah, and this is only going to work in studio and not published places, so keep that in mind. Then how do I use it is basically everything that I already shown in the video, from the audio emitter to the bass part and the custom physics properties and the sound service. But there are also some of the known issues right here, where they are saying that the simulation is not perfect, as well you already saw, and when the audio emitter defects, meaning that it's bent around corners, only the single shorter path will be simulated. And this can result in scenarios where the apparent direction of a sound changes dramatically with a small amount of movement. And this is an issue that I kind of already had, so yeah. Then the reverb and reflections are only computed around audio listeners. So now in some situations, audio emitters positioned in a different location can sound more or less reverberated than expected. For example, if an audio emitter is inside of a stone cave, but the audio listener is outside, the sound will be unmodified even though the cave should cause there to be more reverb. And solid walls currently filter sounds a little bit less than we would like. Which, yeah, if you change any of the bass part properties, might not be the best to do it right now because after they update this part, it's going to give a whole different effect. And sometimes the audio emitters are more reverberant than expected for a few moments after the creation. So right now they might need to time to well adjust. And here they are saying that they might change any of the characteristic of the acoustic simulation because right now it's only in beta. And they are gonna keep changing the algorithm for performance, especially for lower-end devices. And after the public release, the acoustic simulation may work differently or even be completely disabled on some lower-end devices in order to maintain the performance and stability. If you encounter anything else or otherwise have any feedback, then of course give it on the dev forum. And here is the team that worked on the acoustic simulation. And yeah, that's basically everything for the dev forum too. And that's also going to be everything for this video too. So again, leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. Also check out my Patreon page. Thanks everyone for watching and see you guys.